Egyptian football giant Al Ali have applied to have top foreign referees take charge of the country's Premier League as it, hit, as it hits its mid-season mark. Ali, who are three points behind arch-rivals and league leader Zamalek, have even offered to pay for the referees to stand what the Red Devils claim is biased officiating against them in the league. CGTN's Adele al Mahouri has more. Record African club champions Al Ahli have launched an extraordinary attack against Egyptian Premier League referees. The Cairo Giants have petitioned the Egyptian Football Association to hire foreign referees, saying they have lost confidence in local match officials. The unusual request has sparked intense debate about the standards of refereeing in domestic top flight, and football experts in Egypt agree that Al Ahli have reasonable grounds for concern. The first eight weeks of the football season were very disappointing. Therefore, Egyptian referees have lost their credibility. This has repercussions internationally. Egyptian referees no longer take responsibility for top matches. They do not go to the World Cup. Some referees lack experience. We have so many referees. There is no need to push referees who are not physically fit. They claim it fair to rotate referees, but it is unfair for football to impose incompetent referees. It is leading to the major mistakes we are seeing now. Al Ahli wants referees from the top five leagues in Europe to take charge of the domestic flight. Besides that, the Red Devils have called for sweeping changes and restructuring of the refereeing setup across the country. Despite the country's proud tradition in global football, Egyptian referees have not been selected to officiate games at the knockout stages of continental competitions or in the FIFA World Cup in recent years. This is an indictment of the declining standards of officiating in the country according to experts. In the past 20 years, we only had three referees who officiated matches in the FIFA World Cup. Gamal El Gandur, Essam Abdel Fattah and Gehad Grisha. But can they be instructors? They are definitely able to help in developing referees and the system. But given the current level of Egyptian referees, I think it is clear they alone cannot lead reform. Developing the refereeing system in Egypt doesn't come through a one-time visit by an official to each city. This won't foster development. We need total restructuring and a lot of work. Referees must get a lot of training and they must get exposed to international experience. When clubs see that there are no massive refereeing mistakes, the trust in Egyptian referees will be rebuilt. Al Ahli further wants the EFA to hire a foreign expert to lead the refereeing body. They have also asked for match officials to be paid a decent amount of money as an incentive to do better. Al Ahli are second on the log, trailing Zamalek by six points, although the Red Devils have three games in hand owing to their continental commitments. Despite a strong start to the Premier League, where they have won 10, drawn twice and only lost once in 13 games, the Giants claim their results have been affected by poor refereeing. Al Ahli wrote a check for 80,000 US dollars to the EFA to have any financial issues resolved to bring foreign referees. It's still not clear if Al Ahli will get what they want, but at least they've brought the spotlight once again on refereeing mistakes, and that should move stagnant waters in developing the refereeing system in Egypt. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.